We hit the bell to start the action here and to welcome you to the Sam Houston Coliseum on this Friday night. And we... Well, I'll be darned. I was about to say we are looking at Jose Lothario when his opponent, Tim Brooks, killer Tim Brooks, suddenly bobs up into the ring wearing what looks like a dog collar and wearing a chain attached to it and another dog collar and he is challenging Jose to put the dog collar on. If I read my gestures correctly. Killer Brooks trying to entice Jose Lothario to wear a dog collar with a chain attached. Brooks had his jacket buttoned or zipped up around the neck when he came into the ring tonight and didn't remove it until the last moment. And you see this dog collar he's wearing has, I, I was gonna say spikes, but it has metal things um, wrapped all around it. And we've got Tim Brooks right now being hauled around there like he was on a leash and referee Danny McShane is evidently trying to tell Brooks to take it off and to buckle down to Texas Rules Wrestling. And it's, that is exactly what's taking place right now. And if the rules seem a little liberal to you, blame it on Tim Brooks. He's the guy who started this thing and who is right now facing the wrath of Jose Lothario. There's Brooks. All properly labeled and now we may have to get a new picture of him if Jose lands that wallop. But Brooks of course comes from Waxahachie, a member of the famous uh, wrestling clan in Waxahachie, the Murdochs. There's Jose Lothario, who is a wrestling clan all in himself. Referee is Irish Danny McShane. The time on this match is 15 minutes or one fall, whichever might come first. And we have a twisting arm lock as Brooks applies it to Jose Lothario. There goes that twist around on the hand and the wrist, the turn of the arm and Tim Brooks lays the boot in there because he clears the path for the, for the kick by twisting the arm out of the way. And Tim Brooks takes charge by jerking Jose down and then putting that shin bone right across his throat. We've got a lot of action for you on your televised portion of Houston Wrestling tonight. This event, of course, we'll be seeing Don Slatton, the Abilene lawman, taking on Tiger Conway Jr. We have the spoiler with Tom Jones and Gino Hernandez against El Halcone. Lots of things to take place on the, during the next 90 minutes. We want you to stick along right with us. Twist on the arm, and there comes another one. You see, it is reversed. And this time, the twist on the arm leaves Jose Lothario with a pretty good idea. And that is, if it works for one man, it can work for the other. Stick along. This is going to be quite a scrap before it's over. Because Brooks has just come in from the Pacific Northwest, where he was a real terror and reports that came to me from the Northwest indicate that Brooks really ruled the roost in, all the way from the border of Oregon to the Canadian border. But he's in Texas now and he knows it and he's catching it on that nose of his in pretty good fashion. In behind, Lothario, the grip is a reverse chin lock. Lothario bores down hard on that head, keeps 
pulling in on the chin, keeps leaning in with his shoulder up against the head to try to turn it. Five minutes have gone by. Ten minutes remain in this match as Lothario drives that knee into the middle of the back. That's the sort of thing that can make you feel it from the top of your head right down to your tailbone. So Brooks is the man with his back against the ropes. And Lothario rarely receives a wallop that he doesn't hand back as he did to Brooks. Three of them. Or four. Or more. And he smashed him across the, the face that time. Edge of the hand, and he was aiming for the nose. Lothario, and... Again, he comes in that to use the edge of the hand on that hard bone in the nose and splatter it across Brooks' face. Neck breaker. You note that he has that knee right in position in behind the neck of Tim Brooks. He's got a good, solid grip around the chin, and he was using the forearms as a means of applying the leverage. But that's all academic now because... Tim Brooks just reverted to the rough expedient of ripping his wrist and forearm and hand and fingers across the eyes of Lothario. Oh, how that can box right through. And Lothario going for, he's gone for all the corners. He doesn't get any more for it except that four butts into that Turnbuckle are a lot better than one. We've got great action figured for next Friday night, a seven-match card here in the <laughs> San Houston Coliseum. Two title matches topping it, and Lothario will be risking his Caribbean title against Grand Marcus. Well, Lothario didn't miss. You can bet your boots on that. To say that he hit him in the whiskers would be decidedly accurate. And Jose has gone for a variety of holes that can bear the name of reverse chin lock. Chain looking it over. It comes a matter of etiquette whether the beard should be inside the arm or outside the arm when applying that hole. And Tim Brooks now trying to wear Jose down, and this way he might make it. Fans now trying to encourage Lothario. Pounding rhythmically with their feet, with their hands, beating up against the chair in front of them or the chair beneath them. And Rothario can hear that crescendo as it starts to rise and knows what it means. And he is one of those people who responds to the support of fans says that's 50% of his effort out there is inspired by people who urge him on. Right now he needs somebody in front of him as well because Brooks is doing the scoring. Quick switch. Brooks hesitated just a little bit too long and he hit that ring post and that beard did not do much to ease the Wallop, nor this wallop either. <laughs> oh, how we caught that one. And this could be it. He smashed it. Oh, and he's caught. 
And Lothario now gets a chance for a Sunday wallop if he can keep the referee from inserting himself between what he intends to do and Killer Brooks. Ten minutes have gone by. Five minutes remain in this match. This is the opening event of your action from the Sam Houston Coliseum tonight. And Brooks is not in a good position. It's hard to deliver a telling wallop from this uh, position, but sometimes you catch a man by surprise. But as Lothario goes a little bit further up, he gets the chance for the leg trip. That's the purpose of lifting that first leg in the first place. And that is to try to get around the way you can kick the other leg out from underneath him. And Jose, of course, did that very well. Bar to hold. Inside bar to hold. As Jose comes back with a back of the hand and again. Hard to tell whether he's using the back of the hand and cracking him with the knuckles or whether he's using the edge of the hand. That was the edge of the hand. Brooks with that ripping move. You notice how gingerly Brooks is walking there, trying to get the circulation back in those legs. Trouble for Lothario. Here's something new. There's always something new under the sun and, and in the ring. And the back with that headbutt is not considered standard operating procedure. Only three minutes. Got the chin. Time remaining. Uh, three minutes to go. Three minutes. He is astride the back so that he can keep the weight firmly in position. The fans start their noise. The fans know that though Jose is underneath, he's going to make his big effort to get on top if he is able and he's particularly going to respond to the kind of noise that he hears right now. But win, lose, or draw on this match, Lothario will defend his Caribbean title against Grand Marcus here next Friday night in one of two main events on a seven-bout card. Caught a clobber right alongside the jaw, and Brooks is in position to make it stick. Only two minutes. There are two, two minutes, minutes time remaining. And Brooks that time found the throat and the hollow underneath the chin with that thumb stuck out as he came swinging around. Here he comes again, looking for exactly the same place to hit, and he found it. And he blasted him. Brooks was warned that time by referee Danny Mitchell. Oh! I think Jose's leg was a little longer that time, but he made the kick. There's a minute seconds. to go. One minute to go. The lobber. Lobber him. So Lothario has him by the beard. Lothario has him racked up. Jar you, and so would that if you had a jarring seconds. left after hitting that canvas. There are 30 seconds remaining in this 15 minute match, and as Lothario drops in, he found Brooks's jaw well with that knee. 15 seconds. Brooks knows that time is running out, and he wants to leave Damn. people with the impression that he was delivering the punishment when the match ended. But Five, Jose is four, in command. Three. Two, and one. one. There is the bell. And 
Danny McShane says a draw.